welcome back to my channel it's the wonder raquel back at it again with another video and today i'm going to be telling y'all how to love yourself how to build confidence because loving yourself is important so let's get right into the video tip number one take time for yourself and what I mean by taking time for yourself is be alone for a while or like get rid of toxic people or get rid of toxic situations or distractions and just take time for yourself. Do stuff for yourself basically. Tip number two, pamper yourself. So this go hand in hand with the first one. So pampering yourself means taking care of yourself, do your hair. Me, I just put it in a thing. Shave, exfoliate, take care of yourself. Do your feet, do your nails, whatever you do when you want to feel good or when you feel pretty, shower, exfoliate, shave, soak in a bath, read a book or do your makeup. Tip number three, take yourself out on a date. Me, I like to do stuff alone all the time. So like I'll probably walk or something and that's like a mini, mini date, I don't know. Go out to eat by yourself, go to the movies, Mm, watch movies alone. I be doing that in my bed. Um, hoping somebody next to me. Uh, treat yourself to nice things and just have fun by yourself. Tip number four, condition your mind to say positive thoughts about yourself. So if I say, oh, I don't like my cheekbones and I be like, oh, my cheekbones so ugly, da 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 da. I'm going to be like, oh. My cheekbones so pretty. So condition your mind to say positive things about yourself. A lot of people say things that they hate about themselves all the time, every day, when they shouldn't be saying that. So when you change it into something positive and say you love that about yourself, you're going to eventually love that about yourself. Because you condition yourself to hate that. Now condition yourself to love that. See your flaws as perfect. I don't like saying flaw, but if you see something as a flaw, think of it as perfect. So you could love yourself, basically. You love yourself, like the title, ah. Uh. If I think my smile when I open my mouth is a flaw, I'ma be like, hey, I got a perfect smile. See it as something perfect. <laughs> the next tip is listen to uplifting music listen to music that make you feel good so there's a lot of songs that make me feel good one man by doja cat like the boys it's a i think it's a spanish song streets x needed me um man eater man eater i love that song i love that song. listen to uplifting music that make you feel good so not all that trap music i listen to that too but it, it make me want to <laughs> The next tip is heal from trauma. So what I mean by if someone did something to you and you feel like it's your fault, you put all the blame on yourself, like even if it is your fault, be like, that's not my fault. And the next tip is journal about what you want your life to be and journal about the best version of yourself that you want to embody. With me, I want to embody someone that is rich, rich, married, cause I want to be married. These kids these days don't want to be married. I want to be married. I want to be married. So yeah. And journaling go hand in hand with conditioning your mind to think positive thoughts. So basically you could write your uh, write positive about what you want your life to be or what you want to be. So you could write affirmations. You could um, write a script. I have a scripting video. It's going to be up here or up here. I don't know which one, but it's going to be up here the next tip is apologize to yourself apologize to yourself for treating yourself like you're less than you know what i mean apologize to you i am sorry say this in a mirror i am sorry that i treated you that way put yourself up here if you put somebody up here you need to put yourself all the way up here before that person you know what i mean you are right here that person is right here you should treat yourself like this and you shouldn't treat somebody else way better than you treat yourself you know what i mean i learned that the hard way and and the last step is take a mental break from anything that stresses you out and make you unhappy me I don't care. I'm gonna quit a nine to five job on the spot if I'm unhappy. I don't care. 
I will walk away. I have depression. But even a therapist said I might have major depressive whatever disorder. I can't be in them situations. You have to take a break from anything that stresses you out, making you unhappy and everything. Even with people. I was unhappy with a friend. I probably didn't even know. I was having a mental fucking... I had mental stuff going on. And I had to deal with hearing about his stuff. Blah, 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 blah. And it was just annoying. It, it was just annoying. And I was tired of it. And when you building yourself up, you gonna feel much happier. You gonna see yourself getting goals done that you wasn't getting done before because you probably was focusing on other things, other people, blah, 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 blah. You need to work on yourself, love yourself. Because how you gonna love somebody else if you don't love yourself? You might care for them. But how you gonna love them the right way? You know what I mean? Thank y'all for watching my video. I know it's short. I'm trying to keep it short so y'all could just get the tips in and out. And yeah, thank you for watching my video. Bye.